All right, so today it's foundation Friday. This is where I try out a new foundation every single Friday on my channel, 6 p.m. Pacific time. We have a new launch here from CoverGirl. There have been quite a few launches lately, so they are coming. Estee Lauder Futurist, the Bite Beauty Foundation, a few others. They are all coming, but foundation Friday is one day a week. But this is the new CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Nourishing Foundation. When I Googled this a few minutes ago, I Googled CoverGirl Clean Milk Foundation. Speaking of milk though, if you guys haven't tried oat milk, holy shitsies, even if you like drinking drinking normal milk, try oat milk. It is so good. It's so creamy and it doesn't taste weird like soy milk or almond milk. Try it. Why are we talking about oat milk right now? The name of this kind of makes me think of like a Korean BB cream almost, like clean skin milk fresh. It retails for $11.99, has one fluid ounce of product, and it comes in 14 shades. I have the lightest shade, which is 510. It says you'll experience a glowing, dewy finish that lasts all day, blurring imperfections and creating a more even skin tone. The back of here does say it's sheer buildable coverage. It also is 100% vegan and cruelty-free, so go cover girl, that's awesome. And I'm gonna insert swatches here so we can see what the lightest shade of this foundation looks like next to some other CoverGirl foundations and also maybe a couple other drugstore ones I'll throw in. So here's some swatches. Right here's the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Foundation in the lightest shade 510 Porcelain. The first three are all CoverGirl. So next over is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream in 510, which is also the lightest shade in this one. So as you can see, they made the new lightest shade much lighter. So yay for that. Next over is the classic CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation in 810. Koki Full Coverage Foundation in 10W. I can also wear 10C in this one and these are a really good shade match for me. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation in the shade 11NN. So if you're excited for Foundation Friday and you enjoy while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Okay, so I'm starting this one a little bit later than usual. It is 10 o'clock. I need to change my background for my phone. So this guy's supposed to be light coverage, buildable, glowy, Last night, by the way, I filmed a first impressions video. Something totally like irritated my cheeks. They're still pretty red, but last night they were like bright red. So that's what's happening there. Not sure about that. So I'm gonna start out with a brush on this side of my face. Typically CoverGirl foundations oxidize a lot. This one is looking a little bit light, but it'll probably darken a bit once it's on my skin. So it feels very lightweight blending out and it seems to be kind of setting. Like you have a while to work with this one, but then you can feel it starting to set onto your skin, which I like. It looks pretty nice so far. It doesn't look like incredible or anything, but it doesn't look bad. So let's do a sponge on the other side. I've been getting a few comments lately about my face being like plump or gaining weight or something. I've been on prednisone off and on for about three months, so. That's why my face has been a little bit bloated looking. Not that that's really okay to ask or assume. And if I did gain weight, which maybe I have too, uh, yeah, who cares, you know? Probably don't comment that on the internet. Definitely looks better with a sponge, like much better. Something about the finish on this side that just looks a little bit more textured. This side just seemed to kind of like melt into the skin better. The coverage looks the same, it's still light coverage. Okay, so definitely light coverage off of that one layer. I'm gonna see if I can build it up. It's looking like weirdly pinky and whiter on this side. Maybe I just had more redness to cover up, but I'm gonna try and build that up since it does say it's supposed to be buildable. And now that it's been on my skin for like a minute, you can see on this side, I think the shade matches pretty well with my neck. I don't think it's super buildable. I think I'm still at about light coverage. I think the shade is actually a very close shade match looking at my neck. So let's look up close. It's looking nice on my forehead. In this lighting, it looks like a satin finish. Looks not bad around my pores, but I wouldn't say it looks good. Like I definitely could use a pore filling primer with this one. I'm not like blown away by the finish or anything. Like it doesn't look super non makeup y to me. Like I definitely have other foundations that look a little bit more like skin once they're on, but this one doesn't look bad. So right now it's 1017. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then we'll do a shot in after lighting and do a flash test. Okay, so it's now 1040, but we're gonna call a check-in time at 1020 since that's about when I finish up with my face. Now that the rest of my makeup's on, I actually like it a little bit more. There's definitely certain things I'm noticing, like I'm starting to get creasing already on my upper lip and kind of like small ones, which is weird, like a lot of small lines, which I don't usually get. It's kind of more like two big lines usually. It looks a little bit 
patchy in certain parts, but I think that's just because of the coverage. Like it's not covering a whole lot, so it kind of appears more patchy, but right now I'm liking it. I'm curious to see how this one looks in natural lighting. I'm not blown away or anything, but we will see how it wears throughout the day and how it looks in different lighting. So for the rest of my face, I used NARS Orgasm Blush. I've just been like falling back in love with this blush lately. I tried this Too Faced Gingerbread Tan Bronzer, which I think now is gone because it's a limited edition collection. I had to really like tone this down with powder. By the way, my face I only set right here with powder and then up on my temples like I usually do just to blend because it was tacky. This one didn't set down like fully matte. The CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream when I had oily skin was one of my favorite products and that one like sets down to almost like a powder finish and you don't need to set. This one definitely is a little bit tackier and you do need to set it if you're going to blend stuff on top I think. For Lancome, for Lancome. For highlight, I use the Lancome Sparkling Pesh highlight. And then I tried the Urban Decay on the Run palette in G Train. Haven't used this one before. Really pretty. It reminds me a lot though of the shades in the Maybelline palette, which I'm pretty sure this video will have already gone up when I did first impressions using this or it's coming, but bomb. And then also from that first impressions video, I'm wearing this again today, the Maybelline new Hyper Easy Liner. So we'll see how this one wears throughout the day as well. It's supposed to be waterproof. And then for lips, I tried the Ofra Flexi Stick in the shade Synthetic. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a liquid lipstick or what, but it's pretty sheer, which is nice if you just kind of want like a sheer wash of color. It almost looks like a lip tint a little bit. So let's go head in front of the window and we'll do a flash test and see what this looks like there. So it looks nice. It definitely looks a little bit more just like textured on my skin than I would like for a light coverage foundation or any foundation. It doesn't look bad at all. I can just like see it on my skin, which if I'm wearing a light coverage foundation, I just like it to look super obviously like skin. Who wouldn't? so that you can't see it, especially since you still have things coming through typically with light coverage foundations. Okay, so here is what we're looking like up close. So I do already have some creasing on my upper lip and it's looking like a little bit dry or something. Creasing right here and on this side. Looks pretty good around my nose now. Looks like a little bit just dry and kind of makeup-y like I was saying. Forehead looks pretty good. I don't love it, but it doesn't look bad. I would say overall the finish right now looks like a satin finish. I don't think it looks super dewy and glowy like they say, but it doesn't look matte at all. I definitely have like a little bit of glow on my forehead as you can see, but down here it looks a little bit more matte. But let's do a flash test. Looks nice and flash. Doesn't look like there's a crazy bounce back or anything. Looks like it still matches my neck. And I do think the shade is really nice. I think if anything, I could use this as a mixing foundation with the shade or just use my number seven foundation drops and add in some coverage or something. So we'll see if throughout the day how this one does and if there's anything that really stands out. But I'll see you guys in a few hours back in natural lighting. Okay, so there is like pretty much no daylight out now because it is 4.39 p.m. So the foundation's been on for six hours. The sun is setting. It's actually a super pretty sunset right now. But I haven't looked at my face all day. I've just been on the computer and my in focus. I have looked just like walking into the bathroom like in the mirror and stuff, but I haven't like hardcore looked up close. But every time I looked when I was just like in passing, I did notice my face looked pretty matte and also pretty dry in certain parts where I didn't powder anything. It just kind of looks dry. And now I'm noticing that I actually am getting some creasing between my eyebrows, which I don't usually get. I might need to turn the light on because I think it's a little bit too dark right now. Okay, so now you can see a little bit better. I'm getting some pretty intense creasing between my eyebrows. I don't think I've been like <laughs> frowning or anything and I pretty much never get creasing right there. So that's interesting. It looks dry on like certain parts of my face and the creasing on my upper lip is pretty bad. I'm getting like weird small lines with this one. So for six hours in and this being like a light coverage foundation, I just would want it to look a lot more flattering at this point. So right now I don't feel like I'm loving this one, especially with the creasing right here. And I just have other foundations that do a lot better. So right now, not into it, but I'm gonna keep it on for a few more hours and I'll check back in with you guys at the end of the night. Okay, it's been on for 10 hours. It's now 8.33 p.m. Oh man, this freaking camera. Can you focus? Eyeliner update on the Maybelline eyeliner. I was watching someone's birth vlog and was like bawling my eyes out and it is still on. So I think it's safe to say it is pretty waterproof. But let's take a look at the foundation now that it's been on for 10 hours. I would say it looks about the same as the last check-in but a little bit worse around my nose. It's definitely looking pretty cakey and makeup-y now on my upper lip and around my nose. And as you can see it's kind of breaking down around here. 
Still can see the creasing. Looks about the same on my forehead as last check-in. So like I said, I just have light coverage foundations that look way better on my skin. I rarely get creasing right here. So to me, it's just like, why would I wear a foundation that does that when 99% of them don't? And then also just how it looks down here. So personally, this one didn't work for me. I don't recommend it. If you have similar experiences with certain foundations that I do, maybe this one also wouldn't work for you. But if you have a different skin type or something, maybe it could wear totally different on you. I do much prefer the Clean Matte BB Cream over this one. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Foundation Friday video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. I'm pretty sure the Bite Beauty Foundation is going to be coming next. But there's also the new Milani one and so many others. So stay tuned. Those will all be coming. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.